When a patient is referred to me with peripheral artery disease from their primary physician, I start with a very, very careful vascular history and physical. How far can they walk? What are their symptoms? Are there any wounds? What testing has been done? Depending on what's been done, I then tailor my therapy and more specifically my diagnostic testing based on what's going on with the patient. It could be as simple as a duplex ultrasound or a more formal segmental pressure of the legs. It could be CT and geography. It could be a diagnostic invasive angiogram, but I usually wait until I have a CT arteriogram and enough symptoms to justify doing a procedure. Once we've defined that the patient needs an intervention, then I plan based on the CAT scan or an angiogram the best treatment. The treatment may actually be peripheral bypass surgery, in which case I can refer that patient to a vascular surgeon. It could be medical therapy, continued walking program, or it could be an intervention, which could include simple angioplasty of a narrowed artery. It could be atherectomy where I scrape away the plaque, put stents in, or if I have to use an ocelot catheter to get across the blocked artery, I have the ability to do that, which will allow me to do the other treatments and open the leg vessels. Thereafter, once that patient's been treated, I like to follow that patient as well, because once an artery is treated, there's a chance it could re-narrow, and therefore follow-up testing is necessary, and I take that on so the primary doctor does not necessarily have to, but I also insist the patient goes back to the family doctor for treatment of their other risk factors, including their diabetes, cholesterol, and high blood pressure.